Hello everyone. So I am fasting and I have been fasting uh, for um, eight days and I intend to fast uh, for as long as I can. I'm definitely going to try to, I started at the beginning of the month and I'm going to try to make it um, to the end of the month and um, optimally I will be fasting for two months two months so uh, my fast uh, consists of um, just fruit primarily um, and when I say fruit I have about maybe one or two um, smoothies a day uh, and I drink a lot of water uh, with lime and that's essentially it and surprisingly the first two or three days was so easy that I've fasted in the past uh, this will probably be maybe like my fifth fast but I hadn't fasted in um, well I did a um, let me backtrack so I started thinking about fasting after I came back from my last big va vacation um, and that was over the summer and per usual I got sick and I've noticed that when I go away for uh, more than a week maybe like nine ten more than nine days or so uh, definitely two or three weeks when I'm really out of my element um, by the end of that time I'm feeling kind of run down I would say by the last day or two um, and when I get home usually a week later I, I get sick um, so this year happened again, but this t this time I got really, really sick, um, and it lasted for a couple of weeks, um, well, longer than a couple of weeks, but it took a couple of weeks uh, for me to at least feel somewhat normal, and then it kind of lasted for an additional week or two uh, where I was sort of in and out of normalcy. Uh, so basically a lot of inflammation, a lot of mucus, uh, and I think, yeah, so when I, when I travel, I'm just running around, I'm everywhere, um, and I'm also eating things that I don't typically eat. Um, lots of good things, as you've seen on my videos, but it's not my typical schedule. So I think that, um, that combined with just, you know, just running kind of weakens my immune system and then taking planes and trains and um, all of that uh, kind of compromises my uh, immunity so I guess you know that's why I get a little sick when I return from my major uh, trips um, so I've been thinking about fasting for a while um, during that time again I went on a really short fast maybe six or seven days but I was sick and I needed to fast when you're sick you need to give your body time to regenerate to build strength and to fight uh, whatever it needs to fight so um, it just happened naturally um, but this time I planned to do it and it was sort of you know I knew I was gonna do it, I just didn't know when so I decided to do it at the start of the year why not right <laughs> Um, so it's been a week and um, it's been so, so amazingly easy. I'm just so shocked at how easy it's been. It's the easiest one that I've been on thus far. And um, yeah, so smoothies, uh, maybe one or two per day. Um, and I just um, have them when I get hungry. I'm um, usually midday. Um, and during the Today, I am usually drinking water with um, lime juice and I, I'm perfectly fine um, so I have been reading part of the inspiration for this to get myself like prepared for this I started my reading well I read all the time about health but um, I got into this is like I've had this for oops a couple of years my uh, sun food diet infusion it basically talks about raw vegan veganism and it's like oh, it's, it's like a bible of raw veganism um and it's by john mckay uh so this has been um something that i've been reading to prep and uh also arno airides mucus mucusless diet uh, system this is really good it's a really simple read i've had it for maybe three or four months and um I really started reading it like 
probably three weeks ago and it's such a simple read I mean um, it's so easy to read and it's just really simple so and uh, Dr. Dr. CB I'm actually taking a couple of his products I've never tried his uh, products before and I'm taking his um, sea moss which is which he calls the bromide plus powder and basically it has a, a lot of minerals um, in this powder and um, I decided to get the bioferro furrow which is um, basically a tonic um, it's an iron rich tonic and there's other minerals here to um, build your blood um, and it's herbs like burdock and yellow dock um, yeah um, oh this stuff is really nasty I don't care what anyone says this sea moss I mean, it definitely tastes like the sea, but it's just, you know, it's not the nastiest thing, but it just doesn't sit well with me. So I'm trying to figure out the best way. Your, um, the recipe is for like a quart of water with some agave, um, and yeah, it's not working for me. That's too much water. It lasts too long. <laughs> it lasts too long. So I need to find a quick way to get that down. Um, and uh, so I'm really looking forward to see what happens with the sea moss, and I'll probably do uh, a video just on that um, because that's something that I don't hear a lot of health educators and healers um, talking about. Um, so I'm excited about that. Um, and it's for a lot of things like respiratory issues, coughs, um, calms the appetite. Um, it's for digestion, ulcers, it regulates the bowel, so on and so forth. So we'll see what happens with that. And also I've been watching, um, some of the, one of the healers that I watch, um, is Dr. Robert Morse on YouTube. So his videos are encouraging. And so that's what I've been doing. So I'll check in on a weekly basis and, um, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. So, I forgot to mention the purpose of this fast, and it's real simple. I want to strengthen my lymphatic system. I want to get rid of the mucus, get rid of the inflammation, and just start anew. This is sort of, I'm rejuvenating, rejuvenating myself. Um, and I want to maintain this. I want to have an alkaline-rich diet, not just eat fruits and vegetables and be a vegan, but I really want to have a really strong base for building an alkaline-rich diet uh, comprised of fruits and vegetables primarily so that's where I'm at and I'm really really excited because I don't want to get sick like that again it was just way too much inflammation way too much mucus and mucus. so the goal is to maintain an anti-inflammatory or alkaline rich diet forever for my health Now, I am fully aware that maintaining an alkaline-rich, mostly raw vegan diet might be a little bit more difficult while I'm traveling, and that's okay, um, because I know what the optimal goal is, and I'm going to try to reach it. But if not, I also am just going to try to do the least harm um, wherever I am. So, um, and that may mean preparing food. Um, if I have access to a kitchen, um, going to vegan restaurants, you'll probably see some of those uh, videos but I also know that I have a stronger foundation um, I rid myself of the mucus and inflammation and so when I do go out um, I have um, I will be in a better position uh, to do that and when I come home I just go back to my normal routine uh, so it's all it's temporary it's temporary and it's all good and I'll be good